start photography is in this bag. This bag, which I got free with a Nikon 35mm SLR camera. I can't remember which one I have so many. Everything you need is within this bag to start your photography journey. Let's dive in and have a look. I love these Tamarack bags. They're ripstop, they're super padded, and my camera's protected. In the top, I keep my SLR. Lens is separate. I've got the Nikon EM, and I've got a 50mm kit lens. Wonderful combination on the front. You have the lens release on the left there, the right as you're looking at it. My lens connects to here. I've got a self timer on the left. Super handy on the bottom, on the right there, that's the battery housing and my tripod mount. Far left is my rewind button, depress that to rewind. On the back, this is where my film stock tag goes in this little square, we'll show you that later. On the bottom, green auto, leave it in auto if you're beginning. M90 is for manual and then B for bulb. Um, this whole area is where we're gonna just depress and fire the shutter, cock the shutter there, camera's ready to fire. When I now press the button, boom, take my picture, cock it again, be ready again for my next picture. That button there, it moves from auto to manual. I just leave it in auto when I begin. On the top, accepts a hot shoe for a flash. Um, and then here's our ASA settings. You can see it's set to 400, that little white tab. Lift and turn to change the ASA. Go with whatever ASA is on the box for expired film, Google expired film. Um, on the front then, we've already gone through that. This is how to rewind the film. You see the arrow, righty tidy to rewind the film. Depress that button on the bottom and then turn to rewind the film once it's all the way used. Pull and you're gonna get into the back of the camera. This is inside the camera where the film goes. Click to close it. This is my lens, Nikon lens. Beautiful 50 mil lens, nice and fast. You can see it works. Whoop, that's her working, nice. Connect it to the camera. Lefty Lucy, or, or that goes on just nice and simply. And on, on the top, we have our focus ring nearest the end. Focuses from infinity. You can see that infinity mark at the bottom, that's meters. On the front is feet, all the way close to 0.6 meters. And the back is the, that's your F stop there. 1.8 for bokeh, 22 for those landscape pictures. Google that as well. What else have we got in here? Oh, we've got some film. Samada's a black and white expired 2014. Who cares? I don't. I'm going to take the film out and I'll show you how to load it real quick. This is just the way I do it. Bunch of different ways to skin a cat, but this is the way that I do my loading of the film. As a DX code on here, so your newer cameras are gonna recognize that this is ASA 400, but you need to set that ASA. I already have set it at 400. In here is where my little tab goes. Place the film in its housing. Depress a little to keep it in. And then fold and stick the end tab into this little slit in the, yep, advance the lever a little. And just, you can see the film is just moved forward a little and then double loop. I always double loop, it's just me and then that way the film's not going anywhere. Advance the lever a couple of times to just get the camera ready to shoot. That's the um, the window, the shot count on the right. Keep firing until you get to one. You can see it's on one, that means that's our first picture and we're ready to shoot. Place my ASA tab in the back just to remind me that this is a Ah, there's a black and white 400 and that I know there's film in there. We're good to go. Next then, we have a beautiful digital camera, a Nikon D60 CCD, early 2000s, 40-odd dollars, 30, 40, whatever you can get it for camera. It is a DSLR, interchangeable lenses. This lens will actually fit on that EM. Obviously, it's not going to be automatic. Here's my SD card. Push in to pull it out. Push in. Out comes the SD card. Oh, that's micro. 8 gig SD card, in it goes, thousands of shots ready to rock. On the left is my DC in and my USB out. On the top is my wonderful wheel, pictures for settings, head for portrait, mountain for landscape, a uh, little man for sports. And then if you're taking pictures of like butterflies or something, you put it in that little flower mode. Leave it on A, I mean that's what I do. Aperture priority is A. I set the aperture, camera does everything else. Uh, I've got a pop-up flash in built, which is super handy. Lens goes on. Look at this lens, you guys. This is a built-in automatic lens. This is the only autofocus lens this camera will take. 
You see, there's no screw on this lens. In order for this camera to take a older lens, it needs to have that screw. Look, watch this. If you look at the lens, you see this little screw here? The camera connects to that screw on the other models, not the D60, but see, there's no screw there. But if you look at my F100, you can see this little protruding screw. That shows you that this can take the older Nikon lenses. This particular camera will be manual focus unless it has that screw. The lens still goes on and fits, look, but you have to manually focus in order to make it work, which is fun, but if you want autofocus, then stick with this original Nikon lens. You can see me adjusting the aperture there. See this ring on the left? You can see it opening and closing. If I move it all the way to the, there you go. If you move it all the way to the left, so 13, the sm hole small, to the right, so F5 and the small, the, the hole, the aperture is higher. Auto focus on this with a pop-up flash, super straightforward. And then I'm gonna take a quick picture, boom, with the flash. And then instantly in focus, I didn't even have to worry about it. Lots of different settings in this camera. I'm gonna just, you know, just a little example of the settings. It has a black and white setting built in. So you can take a picture and it will film in black and white or it'll shoot in black and white. So that's a really nice feature to have on this camera. And also don't forget your tripod. This one was on uh, Amazon for 10 bucks and I love it. There you go guys, peak design. Don't drop your camera. Don't get your camera stolen. Get these anchors, put them on. It's real simple. Thread the anchors in on one side, righty. If you're a right-hander, it comes back in on itself. Now that camera is not going anywhere as long as I have my peak design wrist, wrist uh, strap, wrist strap. Here it is, it just clicks into place. Click, and I'm not gonna drop my camera. No one's gonna steal my camera. I am a happy photographer. Super, super happy. This is how you start. Purchase yourself a DSLR camera. What that means is that it's a camera with an interchangeable lens, like this Nikon D60. You have a lens, you have the camera body. These camera bodies can take many different lenses, different focal lengths. This is a kit lens which comes with these cameras, comes a standard. This particular Nikon kit lens is an 18 to 55. What does that mean? It means it zooms as low as 18 and can zoom in as high as 55. So let's see this awesome Nikon D60 work. Simply turn the power button on the top and let's put it to automatic because we're beginner photographers. Look through my viewfinder. It's gonna show me the image out of the end of the camera, the end of the lens, and I'm gonna take a picture. Let's have a look. What we're gonna take a picture of right now is me. Awesome, I've taken my picture and I'm gonna review the image on the back of the screen. I took a picture of my iPhone, which I'm using to film because it's super quick. All I did was press the play button and I can see the picture I've taken. It's in focus, it looks great. I can then transfer this onto my laptop, develop the picture, post it to Instagram, save it, print it out, do whatever I need to. Digital cameras are great ways to begin your photography career. So you guys, that's the digital camera I'd recommend. The Nikon D60, 10 megapixel CCD sensor, feels great in the hand very inexpensive and is going to get you on the road to becoming a great photographer. This is film. This is a Kodak uh, 200 gold, which I need to develop. And this is a uh, Artisa 400 expired. This is an expired Artisa 400 black and white, um, which I got for like four bucks. This is the camera. This is the camera I'm going to suggest you start with in that tiny little camera bag is this tiny little dinky Nikon Beauty. This is an 80s camera, 79 to 82, I believe. So it's an old Nikon SLR film camera. These sell on eBay for zero money, $20, $25. People just don't want them for some reason, but I think they are wonderful. This is a 50 millimeter lens. It came with the camera. It's an SLR camera, so very similar to the DSLRs in that you can exchange the lenses, get bigger lenses or smaller lenses or better lenses. Um, this 50 mil is a great place to start your photography. It's manual focus, which means you're deciding how to focus by turning the ring at the front. And then to use the camera, you load it with film, advance the film by pulling this lever, and then you push the button. 
These old SLR Nikon cameras are built so well. This particular one, the EM, was built for beginners, so it's great as a starter camera. On the top, you see that auto mode? If you click the camera into the auto mode, all you need to do is see that little white tab? You just move that tab up and down, click it into auto mode. Now, when you take a picture, the camera is gonna decide how to make the image look wonderful. How does it do that? You set the aperture, just like aperture priority in the D60, and the camera is gonna decide the other settings. All right, it has a light meter inside build in, undo this door, put the battery in, and then inside the camera, it's gonna check the environment and it's gonna do what's called metering. It's gonna expose the film as it thinks it needs to be exposed. Therefore, when you pull the trigger, the picture that you take is gonna develop better and it's gonna come out crisp. guys, thanks for stopping by. That is how to begin your photography career for less than $100. You now have two cameras, two lenses, and the ability to shoot digital or 35 mil. Both of these types of photography are so much fun. Whether you're a digital photographer or a 35 mil photographer or both. If you put both of these in your camera bag, take them out with you, you're gonna get different vibes, different styles, but both of them are gonna make you super happy. Good luck with your photography. Any questions, pass them along, and I look forward to seeing you on the next review. Thanks.